right guys, pump's running true. Welcome back to PFI Speed. All right guys, I got all my laptops out. I got my little PDM book from Hardwired here. And I'm gonna about to get into that. D1 is now output eight. So now we gotta program that. Let's connect, so we gotta search for it. COM3, connect, configuration, retrieve. Output eight is right here, enabled. All right, so now that we got the crank sensor in, let's program that sucker. Got the three little dots. Input four, status, equals, true. Save, send. Monitor, eye bar, over here. Let's test the generic output. Oh, inputs. So this is the gym input you can see it on. Outputs. Now when I hit the button, look, output eight on. Awesome. Now let's check oh, the injector power. Still got a problem with their injector power one when you need to check that. See how it went blue? The voltage fell too low. So we had a problem on that one. Let's check our test our starter. Starter on. Perfect. Starter is working. All right, let's look here. Let's configure. Let's see our starter stuff here. We got a high fuse of 20, peak fuse 25. I kind of went wild here, but I was trying to make sure it's turned on. Now I just gotta solve uh, the injector powers. If the output has tripped from undercurrent, then the blue bar will appear. If the output has tripped, then it will be necessary to reset the tripped outputs by resetting the PDM by triggering a global reset function. It's this one. All right, in theory, my starter should work off the dash and the PDM and everything programmed. Just gotta plug this in. I'm gonna do a master power to that thing. Okay, so we're getting to wrecking. Testing the actual function. <laughs> should work for device, connect. Oh yeah, let's retrieve. Let's just double check our stuff. All right, let's monitor. All right, let's test the one. Check the power as power as of now. Put that power off. You ready? Starter? That's yeah. Right. Right. He's ready? ready? All right. <laughs> Woo! High five, Dude, bro. High five. <laughs> there we go. Good job, man. Yeah, that was cool. Seems so silly that, you know, starter, but yeah. I mean, PDM. Yeah, we're programming it all, so let me give you guys PDM. a That's little awesome. what I got going with the starter here. So here's all the stuff with the starter. And then input one starter status equals true. And input one starter voltage equals true. I kind of went crazy. I probably only needed this first one, to be honest with you. And I hadn't done that, so <laughs> check that out, dude. Ready? <laughs> From That's the from the PDM. That's badass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stoked. No more uh, power probe. No power probe. No. no fuses. No relays. You know the hardwire PDM made it. Made it. Made it easy. No more drill. The belt is on and centered. It's gonna run good now. I hope. I mean, are you trying to start it tonight? I might. I'm getting there. Well, dang. I gotta go. I want to see it. <laughs> so do it now. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Do it right now. I don't know. I might be ready. We can try it. Just got plug in that wide band. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. You can start it from the button there, or I can hit the engine start button there, or I can use the test function there. So 
I got three ways I can <laughs> try to start this. I put a little in there. You already hit it. Yeah. Not much, that. but a little. You told me to try, so I figured I'd try. Starter was starter just shows red. Red? Red. Alright, I blew the starter fuse. Almost. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. It, it like chug though, huh? It was gonna go. <laughs> so right there it turned red means uh I uh overdid the Is it a time thing maybe? No, that means I popped it. That's a setup. If it has tripped the current, then a red bar will appear. Well, obviously, obviously I've got some learning to do. <laughs> and there's probably just something I'm not quite right on yet. See if that baby goes red. Everything's green. Yep. Staying green. Oh, oh bro. <laughs> Injectors is stuck. How much fuel's in here? Yeah, it just sounds like a misfire in here. Yeah. <clears throat> the air fuel is at One 12, is so. Completely cold. But she ran. She ran. She ran. We're getting there. Slow. Started with the PDM. Yeah, she's getting there. That's a big step forward. That's sick. She is getting there. Step three. I wonder if that plug was just dead from us trying to start it before. I'm gonna toss a new plug in. Oh. All right, put the plug in. We may, we may have just fouled that plug, so might as well check there before we get too rowdy into the everything and switching things up and you know, all of that, because that can happen very easily. All right, you ready? Yep. Well guys, I'm getting through the PDM. I'm still trying to figure out firing on a couple cylinders here. Uh, we thought it was that plug wire. Well, it wasn't. I'm not firing on cylinder one and three. Two and four are the only ones that are firing right now. I've noticed I've got a cam error. Um, it's saying cam sensor. It's not up right now, but here, let's just show you real quick. So I'm working that out, trying to get this thing solved and then running smooth. Just a lot to do and a lot of setup. Um, everything else seems to be working good. So we're on the right path and I'm pretty stoked about that. I'm gonna have to get off of this pretty soon. We're gonna jump on Goofy Built's CRX, do his, uh, do his trailer hitch and run through the entire car, nut, nut bolt check. We've got a new drive shaft coming. We got all kinds of stuff going on. We gotta build a trailer and uh, we've only got a little bit of time to do it. So we're gonna get started on that pretty soon, uh, probably in the next day or so. So, so I'm looking forward to that. But that's gonna do it for tonight. Um, I'm gonna head home, edit this, and then uh, we'll be back tomorrow and do it all again. So appreciate you guys watching. Give us a like, subscribe. We'll see you guys all tomorrow.